Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today I'll share with you how we can make this faux pinwheel card. Let's get started. What we're going to need are two pieces of real red cut at two and five eighths by two and five eighths, so a two and five eighths square. So we need two of those, and we need eight squares cut at one and a quarter inches, but if you have a one and a quarter inch punch, that will, you know, of course, punch it very quick. The designer paper that I'm using today is Big Top. This is in the 2012 catalog that's soon to be retiring at the end of May, and this is a fun designer paper pattern that's bright and cheerful, and it's, you know, I like it for all of the either juvenile cards or I guess I'll call it a generic birthday, but it's just paper that makes you smile. So we're using the Big Top Designer paper today. So let's get started putting our little pinwheel together. This is such a nice little technique, and I think once that you learn it, um, it'll be a nice go-to card when you need to make one in a hurry. Okay, so to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our pieces or one of our two and five eighths square and we're going to line it up on our grid paper so that the points are kind of north, north, south, east, and west. And I don't know if you can hear, but my birdies are chirping outside my window. It's a nice day here in Indiana. I have the windows open. So on my second square, put a little snail adhesive on it and we're going to. Um, you know, put this on so it makes an eight point star. So we're going to, um, again, we've got the bottom layer going in a diamond patter, pattern and we're going to put the square pattern on top of it. And then that's going to be the base that we're going to use to make our faux pinwheel. And it has, and again, it's eight points. Okay, so we're going to use those points to help line up our one and a quarter inch square punches. Designer paper is really nice to use on projects like this where you need coordinating paper because, of course, it all plays well together. Okay, so the, this particular one just happens to be the back side of this little candy um, pattern paper. I've got some yellow and white stripes on it. That's Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to take my snail and I'm going to start with um, one of my squares. And I'm only going to put adhesive on half of it. Okay, on one side only. Because what we want to do is we're going to leave a flap that we need to tuck at the, at the very end, and that'll make sense in just a little bit. Okay, so we'll start at the point, and we'll leave a little border around it. And again, I've only got adhesive on half of it. Okay, so once you have your, your starter one with only half adhesive, the rest of them we can do, whoops, full adhesive. And we want to alternate the colors. Okay, so I'm going to find my next point and put my square piece on that. Get my next one, find my next point. And we just are going to keep going round and around using that same, you know, system there, finding the next point, leaving a little border alternating the colors. Such a cute, fun little project. Okay, just keep going around that. Just keep finding the next point. So again, you've got eight, eight points on your star that we want to use. Alrighty. Okay, so now we're, we've got our last point. And this is where, you know, we left the, the top one where we want to tuck. I'm going to go ahead and still put full adhesive on the last piece. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tuck that inside. Get that lined up. And now you can come in and put a little bit of snail just to keep that anchored. And so cute. We've got our little faux pinwheel. Now, um, the next thing that I did, again with real red, I punched out a three-quarter inch circle. And if you had a brad and wanted to put through it at that time, you could. I'm going to go ahead and put one of the new large pearls on it so I don't need to 
um, have a brad go through the center. That circle I really like because it kind of covers up the centers there where all of those points meet. And again, I've got the large pearl. I'll just pick that up with my paper piercer. Too cute. Okay, so there again, just it's the same designer paper series, just a totally different look with a couple of other combinations. So next what I did is I took my, um, this is Daffodil Delight, and it's cut at four and five and a quarter, and I took the Adorning Accents, the little heart, embossing folder, and ran it through my Big Shot, embossing it down at the bottom, and we'll go ahead and put that on our card base. So we'll layer that first, make sure I have my card base going in the right direction. Again, I'm just using snail here today. And we'll get our card base put together. And I like to put my pinwheel on first so I know where to put the sentiment that we're going to stamp here in a little bit. And next what I have is dimensionals. I'm going to put four of them on the back. It's a nice big um, embellishment that we're going to put on the top. And so um, these are just a couple of pennies a piece, so there's no sense to be stingy with them. At least that I, that's what I say. I'd rather have something lay on my card evenly. Okay, so such a bright and cheerful little pinwheel. There we go. Too cute. Next, I have an, um, the sentiment is from Up, Up, and Away stamp set. I'm using the Happy Birthday to You. I've already stamped that on some Whisper White using Real Red. And now I'm going to take my one and a fourth circle punch. And I'm going to punch out the sentiment. And I'm going to layer that on a piece of Tempting Turquoise pump, punched out at one and three eighths. And where in the world did that go? There it is, it's upside down. Okay, so I've got my sentiment. I'm gonna layer the circles together. Grab another dimensional. And there we go. A super quick and easy birthday card. And it's such a great, again, a great technique. And you can do masculine, feminine, juvenile, all sorts of things um, will play well with our faux pinwheel. Hope you enjoy making yours. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.